winners of this event. It looks like they would, they would uh, make the 4x400 protect teams with just a little longer whilst they prepare. Um, For a few more medal ceremonies, uh, yeah. just calling the winners of the javelin throw for men well uh they <laughs> look like they're going to compress the medal ceremony absolutely back to back medal ceremony so they still have quite a few outstanding there's also the uh women's shot put men's high jump oh. men's uh, uh 1500 meters that's just women's four by four yep so there's organizers that's just how are, today was yeah the organizers are struggling to keep up with the medal ceremonies <laughs> And you know they would want to do them whilst they still have um, an almost full stadium and people Absolutely. paying attention. Because the moment this race is done, people are going to start leaving because this is the last race of the evening. Well, they might. People will still wait for Evans Cadman's <laughs> gold medal, medal. presentation, and yes. especially you know the, the, the you know the home supporters here at the University of Ghana and the Ghanaians would want to hear one more Ghanaian medal before the night is over. Unfortunately, Ghana is not in the four by four hundred meters men's race. Yeah. and uh, that's something that perhaps Ghana Athletics has some work to do on in terms of putting together a team of 400 they did put together a team level. they did put together a team just had to withdraw because they just had a few issues here and there maybe not confident in yeah. the abilities of a team or maybe an injury here and there but in the list that they released they did put a team together for the relay they did put a team together for the mix 4x4 didn't make the final and we've seen that with a lot of the to no stars yeah. when, a, when a team has let's say a fixed number of four the moment something happens one of the others or one of them does not feel comfortable enough uh, anatomically to take place in it it affects the whole team and uh, that's where the likes of Nigeria and Botswana come in but because they have always had strength in depth and can always summon an additional athlete who is not part of the starting team in fact they can even afford when it is that other athletes have competing um, events to stay some of them or to have them sit and rest until such a time as they can recover for the finals when they qualify and here's the Algerian runner who'll be running the first leg Botswana that, that's Hamouni Anas Es Sadiq mm. Nigeria have drafted in and they are the big favorites in this event Nigeria by the way yeah uh, Botswana and Zambia are the others that I believe would medal once again Zambia where he's surprised in the women's event to get they the, do the same in the men's event I'm not going to stay away from predicting <laughs> this time around so certainly they will end up in the podium but Kenya have also fielded a team for the 4x4 and this is the javelin throw the winner is Nigeria and Nigeria. I love what I'm seeing because the quartet team have stopped right where they were and I think in the national anthem of Nigeria which is playing now in the background Another gold, another national anthem of Nigeria, this time the men's javelin throw. So, congratulations to Nigeria. The great man had to settle for silver. Julius Diego, Diego of Kenya. After this medal presentation, we shall have the men's high jump presentation where that will be after the four by four hundred meters event. So let's all wait patiently as we all go up once more for the Ghana national anthem. Starter. We 
we're ready for the final of the men's 4x400 four four meter relay and off they go there's no turning back here Nigeria are the big favorites running the opening left for them is Ojeli Ifianye out in lane three but the Zambians and the Bots Botswana running right next to them in lane four and five are running very well the Kenyan that has gone out very strongly indeed Wiseman Mukobe is not messing around in that opening leg Wiseman Kobe negotiating the bend here he's run a great curve he's come onto the straight in the lead Wiseman Kobe is running strongly what a first leg from the Kenyan and already Kenya look like they are in the lead and he would hand over to Sania Caprante Caprante is taking off but he's been quickly caught by the Zambians and the Botswana running for Botswana right now is Lungo Scotch Lungo Scotch is in the lead but only slightly ahead of Zambia's David Molenga but look at the Kenyan Caprante is coming back very strongly is keeping getting it keeping getting it in third position but Botswana still leading this is going to be a frantic end to this second leg is keeping getting he's got a fiery finish he was a medalist in the 400 meters against Kennedy Luchembe but it's Botswana's second leg runner Scotch Lingo who has handed the baton out to the third leg runner this time around is Ndori Bayapo Ndori Bayapo against the Zambian third leg runner David Molenga this is going to be some fascinating race to the end look at the Nigerians as well at the moment Nigeria is in fourth place it is not looking good for them oh the Zambians are taking the lead David Molenga has taken the initiative being pursued by Indori Bayapo and these two are pulling away from the rest and they're the peeling park. away from the rest of the park and said Bayapo is running strongly oh, look at him bad. he's overtaking the Zambian and Molenga is in trouble Bayapo will hand over to Patrick Nyambe in the lead Nyambe versus Samukonga that is Chidi Anthony of Nigeria the individual 400 meter winner who is running this leg for Nigeria he got the gold in the individual event currently in third position can he run down those first two is Samukonga of Zambia right behind Botswana's Patrick Nyambe this is going to be some fascinating finish to the end but watch out for Senegal's Ndulovu as well He's running really strong. Sheikh Tidiani also make the 400 meter final. But we're coming on to the, the home straight. Samu Konga against the Nyambe. Samu Konga overtakes Nyambe. It's Samu Konga and it's gold for Zambia. Nigeria gets the bronze right on the line yet again. Botswana are pipped and it's been the story of these championships it happened in the mix 4x4 it happened in the women's 4x4 it's happened again in the men's 4x4 and Botswana would be guessing their stars they had it almost had it but Samu Kanga bend his heart it's it came unbelievable down to, it came down to individual brilliance we knew Samu Kanga had the finish look at him gritting his teeth arms swinging back and forth and he overwhelmed the athletes from Botswana who had nothing left in the tank and that's why trying and gritting and trying the Zambians just had too much and the Zambians have been the surprise package of the 4x400 meters race it was neck and neck shoulder to shoulder but the Botswana had the same amount of steam he just couldn't keep and it up and look at that at the finish line just celebration for Samu Konga disintegration for Bayapo it's absolutely ridiculous the way this has ended it is a befitting end just like this competition started with drama aplenty is ended with the most and in the most dramatic fashion Zambia with their very first goal with a new games record 259 12 they had to take something special to win a race with Zambia with Botswana, with Nigeria, with Senegal, all running brilliantly. And my word, well, a happy, new game's record. I'm happy you dodged the invitation to predict because the Nigerians were the autumn favorite to win. But in the end, the Zambians.